Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear students. Today we will start new syllabus mathematics D2. Chapter number one direct and inverse proportion. Exercise 1C intermediate level question number 5 to 12. In this exercise, these relations are inversely proportional. Inversely proportional means one quantity is increased, then other quantity is decreased. So, in question number 5, 35 workers are employed to complete a construction of project in 16 days. Before the project starts, the boss of company is told that need to complete the project in 14 days. Assume that all workers work at a same rate. How many workers does he need employ in order to complete the project on time? So, first of all, according to given condition, let worker is equal to x and day is equal to y. So, we let worker is equal to x and day is equal to y. According to given condition, x is inversely proportional to y. So, x proportional to 1 upon y. Removing the proportionality sign, this implies that x is equal to k upon y. Now, in first condition, 35 workers. So, x is equal to 35 and 16 days and y is equal to 16. So, putting the values in given relation, x is equal to 35 is equal to k upon value of y is 16. Here, 16 is divided, it is multiplied by other side. This implies that k is equal to 35 multiplied by 16. 35 multiplied by 16 is equal to 560. This implies that value of k is equal to 560. Now, we will find the remaining condition. If days y is equal to 14, we can find the worker x. Then, if x is equal to question mark and y is equal to 14, this implies that x is equal to value of k 560 divided by value of y 14. 560 divided by 14, this implies that x is equal to 40 worker. But here condition is that how many worker he need to imply to order the complete project on time. So we required a more worker that he required. So, more worker required is equal to 40 minus, first of all given 35, so 40 minus 35 is equal to 5 worker. He required 5 worker more complete the project in 14 days except of 16. So, we will move the next question. In next question, question number 6, a consistent of feeder can feed 1260 cattle for 50 days. Given that all cattle consume the feed at the same rate, then find the following condition. First of all, the number of cattle and equal consignment of feeder can feed for 75 days. In second part, the number of days and equal consignment of feeder can last if it use seed of 1575 cattle. Now, first of all, let us suppose that cattle is equal to x and days is equal to y. Now, according to given condition, both are inversely proportional then x is inversely proportional to 1 upon y. Here, removing the proportionality sign, this implies that x 
इज इक्वल टू के अपॉन वाई इफ द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटी एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी देन पुटिंग द वैल्यूज वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटी इज इक्वल टू के अपॉन फिफ्टी फिफ्टी इज मल्टीप्लाइंग ऑन अदर साइड दिस इंप्लाइज दैट k is equal to 1260 multiplied by 50 the final answer of k is equal to 63000 now the value of k is 63000 then in first part if x is equal to question mark we can find and y is equal to 75 so this implies that x is equal to Value of k sixty three thousand divided by seventy five. This implies that the value of x is equal to eight hundred forty. Now its value is eight hundred forty cattle. Now we will move for next part. In next part, x is equal to one thousand five hundred seventy five. We can find the value of y mean days. so this implies that 1575 is equal to 63000 divided by y now this implies that y is equal to 63000 divided by 1575 so dividing both values is equal to 40 so here 40 days are used for this feed now और क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन एट अट कैंपस देर इज सफिशियंट फूड फॉर सेवेंटी टू एथलेटिक्स एट अक्स डेज एटीन एथलेटिक्स आर एबसेंट फ्रॉम द कैंप हाउ मेनी मोर डेज हेयर वी कैन फाइंड हाउ मेनी मोर डेज कैन द फ्यूड लॉस फॉर द अदर एथलेटिक्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल let us suppose that athletics is equal to x and days is equal to y now we have according to given condition x is inversely proportional to y this implies that x is proportional to 1 upon y this implies that x is equal to k upon y now we have when x is equal to 72 and y is equal to 6 according to the first condition athletics is equal to 72 and days is equal to 6 so putting the values 72 is equal to k upon 6 this implies that k is equal to 72 multiply by 6 72 multiply by 6 is equal to 432 so the value of k is 432 now according to given condition athletics is equal to 72 minus 18 because here second condition 18 athletics are absent so we can subtract from the previous value so 72 minus 18 according to given condition remaining athletics is equal to 72 minus 18 is equal to 54 here value of x is equal to 54 and value of y we can find this implies that 54 is equal to 432 upon y this implies that 432 upon 54 Dividing the 432 divided by 54 is equal to 8. So y is equal to 8 days. Now we can find the more days because more days is equal to 8 minus 6. 8 minus 6 is equal to 2 days. When 18 athletics are absent, these feed more 2 days for sufficient. so in next question in question number 8 z is proportional to x and z is equal to 5 when x is equal to 
find the value of x when z is equal to 70. Here, according to given condition, x z is inversely proportional to x. This implies that z is proportional to 1 upon x. Removing the proportionality sign, this implies that z is equal to k upon x. When z is equal to 5 and x is equal to 7, we can use the values in given relation. This implies that 5 is equal to k upon 7. Here, 7 is divided. It is multiplied on other side. This implies that k is equal to 5 multiplied by 7. 5 sevens are 35. This implies that value of k is equal to 35. Now we can find the value of x when z is equal to 70. Putting the values, then 70 is equal to 35 upon x. This implies that 35 upon 70. Now dividing the 35 divided by 70, this implies that x is equal to 0 0.5. Now, in second question, question number 9, if z is inversely proportional to a, here b is inversely proportional to a and value of b is equal to 3.5 and value of a is equal to 2. Now, find the value of b when a is equal to 1.4. First of all, according to given condition, b is inversely proportional to a. b is proportional to 1 upon a. Removing the proportionality sign, b is equal to k upon a. This implies that when b is equal to 3.5, and a is equal to 2, find the value of constant. So, putting the values, 3.5 is equal to k upon 2. Here, 2 is divided, it is multiplying on other side. So, k is equal to 3.5 multiplied by 2. 3.5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 7. So, the value of constant k is equal to 7. Now, we can find the value of b when a is equal to 1.4. This implies that b is equal to 7 upon 1.4. 7 divided by 1.4 is equal to 5. This implies that the value of b is equal to 5. Now, in question number 10, here, table is given and complete the table. So, according to given condition, for each of the following, y is inversely proportional to x. Copy and complete the table. So, in first table, here two tables are given, a part and b part. Copy and complete the table. Here we can see that y is inversely proportional to x. First of all, find the value of constant when two values are given. Here, in this table, x and y are given, we can find the value of k. When x is, when according to given condition, y is inversely proportional to x, this implies that y is proportional to 1 upon x, this implies that y is equal to k upon x. When x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4. In this table, we can see that here x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4. Find the value of constant k first. Now, putting the values in given relation, then 4 is equal to k upon 3. 3 is multiplying on other side. This implies that k is equal to 4 multiplied by 3. 4 3s are 12. This implies that k is equal to 12. In first part, if x is equal to question mark, we can find the value of x. 
and y is equal to 24. Putting the values, this implies that 24 is equal to 12 upon x. Now, this implies that x is equal to 12 divided by 24. When 12 divided by 24 is equal to 0 0.5, then value of x is 0 0.5. In second part, value of x is equal to 2, we can find the value of y. If x is equal to 2, then y is equal to question mark. This implies that y is equal to value of k 12 upon value of x is 2. 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. This implies that value of y is equal to 6. In next table, value of x is 2.5. We can find the value of y. Then x is equal to 2.5 and y is equal to 5. This implies that y is equal to 12 divided by 2.5. We can divide the 12 by 2.5. This implies that x is equal to 4.8. Now, in last part, y is equal to 1.5. We can find the value of x. Then, we have if y is equal to 1.5, and x is equal to question mark. This implies that 1.5 is equal to 12 upon x. Here, we can find the value of x. This implies that x is equal to 12 divided by 1.5. Now, we can divide the 12 by 1.5. This is equal to 8. So, the value of x is equal to 8. Now, we will move the other part, in B part, we can see that table is given and relation is same. Y is inversely proportional to X. So, according to given condition, Y is inversely proportional to 1 upon X. This implies that Y is equal to K upon X. Here, in this table, value of Value of x and y are given. First of all, y is inversely proportional, not or directly proportional. Writing mistakes, y is inversely proportional. So, value of x is equal to 4 and value of y is equal to 9. Find the value of constant when x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 9. This implies that 9 is equal to k upon 4. 4 is multiplying on other side. This implies that k is equal to 9 multiplied by 4. 9 4s are 36. So the value of k is equal to 36. Then if x is equal to 3 and y is equal to question mark, we can find the value of y in first part y is equal to 36 upon 3. This implies that x is equal to 12. Now, in second part, value of y is given, we can find the value of x. x is equal to find and y is equal to 8. So, 8 is equal to 36 upon x. This implies that x is equal to 36 upon 8. Here, 36 divided by 8 is equal to 4.5. Now, in next part, value of y is given 2.5. We can find the value of x. So, x is equal to find and y is equal to 2.5. This implies that 2.5 is equal to 36 upon x. Now, we can find the value of x. This implies that x is equal to 36 divided by 2.5. 36 divided by 2.5 is equal to 14.4. Now, last part, x is equal to given 25. We can find the value of y. This implies that y is equal to 36 upon 25. Now, 
36 divided by 25, this implies that y is equal to 1.44. In question number 11, the frequency in kilohertz and radio wave is inversely proportional to its wavelength. Then we can find the frequency of radio wave when its wavelength is 3000 and frequency is 1000. Now also find the frequency of keys when the frequency of radio wave that has wavelength of 500 meter. And in second part, the wavelength of radio wave that have frequency is 800 kilohertz. First of all, find the relation. Let us suppose that frequency is equal to F and wavelength is equal to lambda. Then, according to given condition, frequency is inversely proportional to its wavelength. Then, F is proportional to 1 upon X. This implies that F is equal to K upon lambda. So, F is frequency and lambda is a wavelength. Then, we have F is equal to 100 and lambda is equal to 3000. This implies that 100 is equal to k upon 3000. This implies that k is equal to 300 or triple zero. Now this value is in a billion. Then f is equal to question mark and lambda wavelength is equal to 500. f is equal to value of k divided by value of lambda 500. So, dividing both values, this implies that f is equal to 600. In second part, if f is equal to 800, find the value of lambda. This implies that 800 is equal to value of k upon lambda. When this implies that dividing the value of k by 800 is equal to lambda value is 375. In last question, question number 8, the time t in R need to complete a job is inversely proportional to n, where n is the number of men applied for a job. Three men complete the job in 8 R. Now we have find an connecting equation and in second part, find the R by the man of the working in the period by the six men complete the job. And in last part, if the job is complete in 3 upon 4 R, how many men need to imply it? So, in first part, according to given condition, we can suppose that time T is equal to T and number of applied is equal to N. According to given condition, T is inversely proportional to N, then T is proportional to 1 upon N. This implies that T is equal to K upon N. Here, T is equal to 8 and N is equal to 3. This implies that 8 is equal to K upon 3. 3 is multiplying on other side. This implies that k is equal to 8 multiplied by 3. 8 multiplied by 3, the answer is 24. So the value of k is 24. Now we have this implies that value of k is equal to 24. Now in first condition, connecting equation, T is inversely proportional to N. So this implies that T is equal to K upon N. Putting the value of K, this implies that T is equal to 24 upon N. Now in second part, we can find the value of T when N is equal to 6. This implies that T is equal to value of K 24 upon value of N is 6. 24 divided by 6, this implies that t is equal to 4. In third part, 
t is equal to 3 upon 4 and n is equal to question mark. This implies that value of t is 3 upon 4 is equal to value of k 24 is equal to n. This value is reciprocal on other side. This implies that n is equal to 24 multiplied by 4 upon 3. Reciprocal of value of t. So, 3 ones are 3 and 3 eights are 24. We can simplify this value 8 fours are 32. Then final answer of n is equal to 32. Best of luck in next video with next lesson. Take care.